So what do you do to service a disc brake then? Right, what's involved in a, in a disc brake? First you've got to identify the system. So this is a haze and it, um, it uses uh, dot fluid and it will say which particular one it recommends. Dot 3 or dot 4. So, so that's a brake that fluid, not a mineral oil. But basically it's an old system, the newer ones use a, a 5.1. Um, so we sort of recommend, if you're doing a service, every year replace the brake fluid. But uh, if the bike comes in, f in for a service and we don't know the history of it, we just replace the fluid. But before we do that, we'd, we would um, drop the wheels out and um, physically inspect the brake pads. Because the only way you can see is, is physically take the wheel out and have an inspection they look okay but if we think they're wearing at an angle we take them out inspect them and uh, replace them how easy is it to replace the bait pads and do they just clip out clip in this particular one is these just pull out pull out yeah so i just get along those pliers there you go they're just held in with a spring and then you just look at the pad and, and you just make sure you've got a at least two mil minimum even. It's like your brake car pads aren't they? Similar. There you go, they just held in with that little spring. They, they, they're okay, I mean they're starting to get a few little lines in there but you don't want them wearing down to the metal because then that rub on the discs so you want to inspect it before it gets to that stage. What you got you probably won't see but in the middle of the piston there's a pin there with a head on it. Yep. That slots into there and then the spring just locks it in. So you got uh, you got a left and a right. So you just locking that in. I can feel I can feel it sliding in. And then we got a, a tool just to push the pistons, the pads back. So many specialist tools, isn't there? Yeah, well, what we find, these are quite handy, if you ever take the wheel out and transport the bike in the car... And somebody's pressed the brakes in. Someone pressed the lever, yeah. the pistons are, are closed and yeah. they won't release and you won't be able to get the wheel back. So this little tool's quite handy just to push that back with the pads in. Or you need to put a plastic spacer in there to keep it apart. All right. You can get an oil leak in your suspension and that can drip and contaminate the brake pads. The brake fluid can leak so we're just looking if there's any um, leaks around the caliper, around the lever. We can even pull the, the rubber back and have an inspection. Screwdriver. And just inspecting that, that's all dry in there. So the other thing to inspect after we checked um, the levers for leaks, we just check the hoses. So you just cast your eye, sorry, cast your eye down here. There's um, a clip there, so this hose has actually come unclipped from the frame. So we can just push that down, line the clip up, just push him home. That just keeps that all in place. So we look at the front one, we can just inspect the hose, and there's um, possibly a little kink there and then we just carry on down the back one that's that's all clipped in because obviously with your full suspension the hose can rub and wear through so we're just inspecting making sure it's all clipped making sure um, there's no leaks at the caliper and same again we would take the back brake out and just inspect the pads thing to check now we put the wheel back is that the brake disc is actually running in center of the brake caliper and there's no brake rub and come round to the back one and I'll just uh, operate the brake right I can see this one's not there's a little bit of a rub in there an issue where that pad is coming this pad 
is coming out further than this side, it's not centred. So what we need to do is actually take this part of the caliper off. So, we'll so that's the inner inner brake part. Inner brake is... Um, it's not moving as much as the outer. Yeah. And well, you can see that by looking in through the top, can't you? Yeah, I can see the piston. But so what do we you have to operate the brakes to get that to...? Yeah, so what I'd do, once we've got the caliper off, you'll be able to see, I think, a bit clearer. So that just comes off. Um, you can see this piston. This, this piston's actually coming out further than this side. How can you see that then? Because I've been doing it for years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah. I will have to show you. And also, it's quite good because this pad is worn. Yeah. So it's a good example. So that piston's actually coming out further. And it might not even be coming out square. Because it looks like to me it's just this top bit's coming out and that bottom bit's yeah. sticking in. So it? if we pulled the pad out quite a, a good example this one so we just pull that that pad out if we can it looks like there's a bit of rust got in there but right that's come out okay now can you see that pad isn't so that, the, the this circular, is the yeah. this is the piston the circular yeah. bit it's actually there's a wider gap there than there yeah. so it's coming out at an angle now also if we look at your pad it's actually that's that's down to the metal it's actually touching the metal so you've got a pad there, but that side is gone. It's actually worn tapered, because that piston's not coming out. What we're going to do is just operate the brake so the pistons come out, but not too much so they actually pop out. And as we can see, this, this one is still is coming out more than that one. So the one on the inner looks like it's got a, a coating on the outside of it. Is that covered in grime? It is the. It's obviously this is um, cast alloy and it's starting to corrode as it's quite an old system. Um, what we're going to do? We got some um, brake car fluid, brake fluid. Dot four. So it's the same same fluid. Which I didn't realise it's the same as your car. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of that fluid in the lid. I'm going to get you to hold that with your other hand, Paul. The, um, sorry, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to look and then the all, all I'm going to do is just drop that on a cable tie and we're just going to put a drop. Of brake fluid just round the uh, piston. This is just like a bit of lubricant. And then if you drop the caliper forward, I'll just, I'll just put a drop in the, the top side, let that run round. Put the lid back on, because obviously you don't want the system, the, this open to the elements, because the elements, you get moisture in the system. That's why we tend to have smaller bottles, but that's all we've got available at the moment. And then we're just close, push these pistons back in again. So that fluid's like a little bit of lubricant now. Because obviously if there is a little bit of corrosion in the housing, it's going to stick on the piston. And then we'll just operate it again. This one's still coming out. It's a lot little better little, though, isn't it? It's a lot better. It's coming out even. So yeah, yeah. the little bit of lubricant yeah. has made a difference. Um, what I can do is just push that side in and just see if I can hold hold that side just to try and get the other one out a bit more. Yeah, they're sort of coming out even now. That one's still coming out a bit more, but obviously that's made a big difference. Big difference with the fluid on there. We'll just push that one in. Keep pushing him in. If I can't can't seem to hold that one, so I'm going to drop the um, the 
pad in there and just see if we can if if you can actually use your other hand to reach across I'll hold the brake and then you operate it slowly just sort of give it little short pumps and I'm just trying to get the outer side piston out a bit more okay I think that's uh, good enough and then obviously because we got brake fluid on there we just use the brake cleaner to wipe any excess off so it doesn't contaminate your new pads when you fit them or gets on the brake disc that, that stuff actually evaporates if we just look at the pad it's worn on the uh, one side and it's obviously see the disc is started to rub on the pad and you can actually see that the little rivets where, where it's bonded is come right through so we just need to inspect the the disc here for any rough edges but I think you're you're lucky there 